Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Joyce and I post videos every single week. And since you're already here, you might as well hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Guys, you don't even know how excited I am for the next year because I have so many more videos planned and in store for us. So if you're just as excited as me, don't forget to hit the post notifications bell down below so you guys don't miss any videos in the future. So for this video, guys, I've been searching far and wide for the best puffer for winter time. And guys, let me tell you, finding the right winter jacket is such a struggle because there's so many different styles and colors and brands there's just so many options right so but with puffers though there were barely any options when I was looking on the internet I was specifically looking for a white puffer jacket but every puffer that I came across even from Zara they made me look like a huge marshmallow which is exactly what I did not want that wasn't the vibe I was going for so Luckily, after doing a lot of research, I found the perfect puffer jacket and it is this jacket right here which I will be showing you guys but it is the Aritzia Super Puff Jacket. This jacket I'm really excited for and if you guys want to see me try it on and review it, keep on watching. So let's start off with all the specs and details of this jacket. It comes with a whopping price tag of $250 which I know some of you guys might be screaming because it's a lot of money but when you're looking for a nice quality winter jacket this might be worth it especially because of all the claims that it comes with. So at Aritzia the Super Puff line is extremely popular on its website. They even have a little tab on their website in case you just want to go straight into their website and look at only the Super Puff collection. There are a bunch of different styles. They have the original, they have their shorty, they have their long, they have their mid, they have a vest. There are so many different kinds of super puffs so originally I was looking at the super puff shorty because that was kind of the vibe I was looking for I wanted a jacket that was a little bit cropped so that I can wear leggings and it would look really cute and trendy but as I was on the website I was talking to some of the workers at the store um, a lot of them were mentioning that the shorty might not be the best option especially for the winter time if you live on the east coast and you actually need a jacket for a walk they recommended that i get the original instead because you would definitely get more use out of it so the jacket i purchased was the original guys this jacket comes with so many different colors and fabrics it's actually insane i've never seen so many options for a winter jacket so it's pretty hard to narrow it down but i ended up getting the color matte pearl because i was looking at the white color but it was a little bit too bright bright white and I was scared that I was gonna get dirty which I'll talk about later so I ended up getting the matte pearl which is kind of like an off-white color slash cream so when I was looking at the reviews on Aritzia's website one of the reviews that really caught my eye and sold this entire jacket for me was that they said that this jacket was comparable to a Canada goose jacket which is absolutely crazy that's a really large and bold statement to make because Canada goose jackets are notorious for being you know expensive but high quality and also it keeps you really really warm because of the goose feathers inside of the jacket I personally have a Canada goose jacket myself it was an investment for my cold winter days in college but I was curious to know if this jacket actually was comparable to a Canada goose jacket because if it comes close to the Canada goose jacket at a quarter of the price then that speaks for itself right so obviously I had to buy this jacket I want to see what the hype was I kept on seeing this jacket everywhere on TikTok and fashion videos itself so of course I have to give it a test and give you guys an honest review so right off the bat when I got this jacket it came super fast Aritzia's shipping was incredibly quick especially with all the delays going on with you know shipping carriers so I was pretty impressed that it came this quickly I think it came in like probably three days this jacket is extremely light and this is actually the newer super puff the lady at the store told me that last year's model was actually a little bit heavier and that was one of the feedbacks that they put into their new jackets on the website it says that this jacket can withstand a negative 22 degrees fahrenheit and I, oh. which is absolutely crazy because that's so cold so this is pretty pretty heavy duty guys negative 22 degrees fahrenheit is insanely cold i don't even know how i can test that but let me tell you guys right now i've worn this when i was snowboarding outside and it was like probably 30 degrees outside and i'm someone that's really sensitive to the cold i can't 
take it. I need like seven layers of clothes on top of me before I step outside. And all I did was wear this and a turtleneck sweater and I was really, really warm and snug. So if this jacket can withstand weather at below 30 degrees, I think we're ready at a great start. So this is what the inside of the jacket looks like. It has the words super puff all across the back and on the side it has a nice little zipper so you can put your phone here and what's really nice is that with each pocket there's a nice warm fleece lined in the inside so you're never cold while you're putting your hands in there down here you can see that there's some lettering on the side which just shows all the things that it can do it is rds certified which means it's responsibly sourced goose down film there's about 700 plus fill power in here which means it's super warm and super light. And down below, it is water repellent and wind resistant. One thing to point out is that this jacket runs pretty large, so I got a size small, and it's still pretty roomy for me. I'm pretty tall, and I wear a medium slash large most of the times, so I would highly recommend you size it down, and if you can, try it on in the stores before you order it online. My absolute favorite feature of this entire jacket has to be this little sleeve that's attached to the end of the jacket where it has a thumb hole attached to it. And of course, I love this fleece line pocket in the inside, so it really keeps your hands super warm my Canada goose jacket actually doesn't have that fleece line pocket so I'm always freezing whenever I put my fingers inside my pockets trying to get warm if you guys are worried about the puffer being a little bit too wide there's a little adjustment in the inside of the jacket so that you can tighten it and then it would add a little bit of a more cinched look around the waist aesthetic wise it's really trendy looking and it honestly reminds me of super try if you guys don't know what super try is it's a really popular japanese brand out there too so i'm kind of curious to know if there's some kind of correlation between those two all right guys it's time to put this jacket to the test i'm going to try it on and then show you guys how it looks like on me so here is the jacket on this is a size small and <laughs> Here is what it looks like, 360 degree. There is some little cute holes for your thumbs to keep it warm. But guys, this is really nice and cozy and it's super light. I don't feel like I'm being weighed down by like a million things. The only thing I wanna point out is that if you are wearing makeup, please be careful and please wear setting spray because I didn't wear setting spray one day and I accidentally got a little bit of my makeup on the sides when I zipped it all the way up but I was able to remove that with a little bit of makeup white but just be careful if you guys are wearing light colors like this it comes off really quick but I'm just saying if you guys don't want to be scarred with like your makeup all over your clothes and on your really expensive new jacket just so I warned you guys. So final thoughts for $250, this jacket I think is incredibly worth it because it's super high quality and there are so many amazing features in this jacket that a lot of jackets are missing. At the end of the day, as long as I'm warm and I'm also not looking like a big marshmallow, Eskimo, whatever you want to call it, I think that just is so worth it to me and I highly recommend if you're looking for a nice winter jacket slash puffer check out the Aritzia website because there's so many colors and there's so many fabrics available there's one style for absolutely everyone so you can't go wrong if you guys want to see more fashion related reviews definitely let me know in the comments down below so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>